Hello everybody. Today's book is Belinda by Pamela Ellen. Take a look at the cover. You can see that the only picture on the front cover is of a cow. I'd like you to make a prediction. Write down what you think this book will be about. Have you written your prediction down? Let's start reading and find out what happens in the story. Belinda by Pamela Allen Bessie and old Tom lived in the country. How many animals do Bessie and old Tom have? Count them out loud. One pig, one cat, and one dog. That means we've got three animals. Early every morning, old Tom works in his garden. There is always plenty to do. He grows cucumbers and carrots. He grows pumpkins and parsley. He grows beetroot and beans and lots of other vegetables. I would like you to write down the name of two other vegetables that you think old Tom might grow in his garden. Let's find out what Bessie does every morning. Early every morning, Bessie milks Belinda the cow. There is always plenty of milk. She gives some to the dog. She gives some to the cat. She puts some aside for old Tom and herself. With the cream, she makes the butter for their bread and the skimmed milk she gives to the pig. So Bessie uses all of the milk because cream comes from milk and butter is made from cream. One day, Bessie packed her bag, put on her hat and coat and went to stay with her daughter who lived in the city. She left old Tom to milk Belinda the cow, make the butter and feed the dog, the cat and the pig. Now, Bessie has left old Tom to milk Belinda. I'd like you to make a prediction. 
write down if you think old Tom will be able to milk Belinda the cow. Have you written your prediction down? Let's keep reading and find out what happens. Old Tom got up very, very early. He took the bucket and the stool and set out to find Belinda. Belinda was chewing in the far corner of the paddock. He sat on the stool and placed the bucket carefully between his knees. Gently, he put his hand on her teat. There's a good girl, he crooned. Have a look at the picture. Belinda looks a little bit worried. She might be worried because she's not used to old Tom milking her. Who normally does the milking? Do you remember? Let's keep reading and find out if old Tom can milk Belinda the cow. Belinda gave one almighty kick. Old Tom flew high in the air and landed with a thud in the mud. Ow! I think old Tom's sore now. I'd like you to draw a picture of Belinda the cow kicking old Tom. I'll give you some time to draw that picture. There's a timer just here on the screen. That's how long you have to finish your drawing before the video continues.
Let's keep reading and find out what happens next after old Tom gets up from the mug. Belinda was off and old Tom was after her. Around and around they went, mooing and trotting, mooing and trotting, around and around and around they went, until old Tom was quite out of breath. What was old Tom to do? There would be no milk for the dog, no milk for the cat, no milk for the pig, no milk for old Tom, and no butter for his bread. What was old Tom to do? Tell the person that you're sitting next to what you think old Tom will try next. Have you told the person you're sitting next to what you think old Tom will try next? I hope so. Let's keep reading and find out. He went to the shed and took a rope from the wall. Then he went to his garden and pulled up the biggest, fattest carrot he could find. With these, he set out to catch Belinda. It looks like old Tom is trying to sneak up on Belinda. Let's find out if he's successful. Moo! crooned old Tom. There's a pretty girl. Fat carrot, fat carrot. Come, come to old Tom. There's a good girl. Moo! answered Belinda as she cautiously, carefully inched towards the carrot. Let's find out if old Tom is successful. Moo! bellowed Belinda as she snatched the carrot from old Tom's outstretched hand. Ugh! cried old Tom as he landed with a thud in the mud. Oh dear, old Tom is getting awfully dirty today. Let's find out what happens next. Belinda took off and old Tom took off after her. Around and around they went, mooing and trotting, mooing and trotting. Around and around and around they went until old Tom was quite out of breath. Now what was old Tom to do? If he couldn't catch Belinda, he couldn't milk Belinda. And if he couldn't milk Belinda, there would be no milk for the dog, no milk for the cat, no milk for the pig, no milk for old Tom, and no butter for his bread. Everyone looks sad in this picture. Would you be sad if you didn't think you were going to get any food? I think I would be. What was old Tom to do? He thought, and thought, and thought, and thought, and thought, at last, he stood up and strode into the house. I wonder what his next idea will be. Let's keep reading and find out. He took Bessie's pink dress from the wardrobe and put it on. The dress was too big. So he took a pillow from the bed and pulled and pushed and stuffed and shoved until at last the pillow was with him inside the dress. Then he tied Bessie's apron firmly around his middle to hold everything in place. He put on Bessie's big straw hat 
and she pulled on Bessie's big rubber boots. Do you think old Tom looks like Bessie? He's trying to look like Bessie. Do you think his disguise will work? Let's keep reading and find out. In this disguise, he set out to milk Belinda. Belinda was chewing in the far corner of the paddock. She looked up, blinked, and then went on chewing. Quietly, old Tom came closer and closer. He sat on the stool. He placed the bucket carefully between his knees. Gently, he put his hand on her teat. This time, old Tom didn't say a word. Have a look at the picture. Belinda looks a little bit confused. Old Tom doesn't look very much like Bessie, does he? Do you think it will work this time? Tell the person next to you if you think it will work or not. Let's keep reading and find out if old Tom can milk Belinda this time. He squeezed. A warm white spray made a ping in the empty bucket. He tried again. Squirt, 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 squirt. The milk crept up and up until the bucket was full and no more milk would come. So old Tom was able to milk Belinda this time. How do you think old Tom feels at the moment? I think he's probably feeling quite relieved and quite happy that he was able to milk Belinda. Do you remember what old Tom has to do with the milk? Let's keep reading and find out. Now there was plenty of milk. There was milk for the dog. There was milk for the cat. There was milk for old Tom and cream to make the butter for his bread. There was even plenty of skimmed milk left for the pig. And you can see on this picture that everybody looks happy. I'd like you to draw a picture of old Tom dressed up in Bessie's dress, gumboots and hat. I'll give you some time to do this. You can see that a timer has appeared on the screen next to me and that's how long you have to draw your picture. Your timer starts now.
Have you finished drawing your picture of old Tom? I hope so, because we're about to keep reading. When Bessie came home, she wondered how her pink dress came to have mud on the hem. The hem is the bottom part of the dress. She almost said, who's been wearing my dress? But old Tom had been the only one at home and it couldn't have been old Tom, could it? So old Tom was able to trick Belinda and milk Belinda to get the milk to feed the dog and the cat and the pig and himself. But he got some mud on Bessie's pink dress. Would you tell Bessie, if you were old Tom, that you had worn her dress to trick Belinda? Tell the person next to you. Now that you've told the person next to you whether you would tell Bessie or not, I'd like you to draw a picture of Bessie and old Tom together. And you'll have until your teacher tells you to finish that.